Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I will be covering the number one cure or curing artist block. It came in, in the form of a book, so this this method isn't like my invention or anything. I found out that I used to do it as a kid and it used to help me then, but I didn't know that I was doing it. The number one cure to artist block, and this applies to any type of artist um, in the sense of it doesn't matter if you're a writer. Actually, it helps that if you're not. This helps painters, uh, sculptors, animators, illustrators, movie makers, musicians, ballet, dancers, anything. Uh, and it's a wide scope. And the method came from... The method comes from Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity. And it's a book that covers different ways of figuring out what your artist blocks are, but the number one method that she uses is the morning pages. Basically, in the book, she talks about two different methods, but the one that for me I think was the most effective, although I will be making another video about the second method, which is also, I think, very effective. The first one being, and this is the actual secret, is keeping a morning journal. And the morning journal is basically writing everything in your mind as soon as you wake up. You don't turn on your phone, you don't look at anything. Just go straight away to a writing in a journal or, you know, loose leaf papers, whatever. Nobody gets to look at it except for you and all you do is get all of your thoughts in the, uh, that are in your mind. Maybe you don't know what to write and you write, I don't know what to write uh, multiple times. And I've actually done that a whole bunch of times on paper. And then you just look at it. Um, I think you can't look at it for the first eight weeks that you do it. But in the book, you talk about different methods of clearing your artist block. But the biggest method is just writing. It's like a brain dump in the morning and you get rid of all of that negative talk, you see how you're actually speaking to yourself, but that clears the way for you to go into creating things more freely. I think a lot of us go through it or have gone through different ways of this, where somebody sometime, either if it was society or our parents or people around us or teachers, who at some point told us that what we were doing was frivolous, was, not gonna make us a living was a whole bunch of crap that i know you guys would be very familiar with but this is the seriously the number one method that got me through figuring out my own artist block and i went through a period of maybe two years where i wasn't creating as much and i didn't know why and it stemmed from a couple of experiences in my in college my junior year where I almost left school my dream school but there was there was a sequence of events <laughs> that include well one professor that just completely broke my confidence in the sense that I had always had confidence that I was gonna be an artist it wasn't as confident in my skill level and that's what broke me but that shouldn't be the case i mean if you want to be an artist you have to be willing to face that head on because there will always be the people the haters the naysayers the unbelievers and and there's there's ways of dealing with that there's ways of dealing of getting all of that hate out when i was a kid and that this is what i mean about I used to do this without knowing it. When I was 12 or so, I started writing in a, in a diary and I would write every night, whatever was going on like in my life, especially the problems that I felt I couldn't share with anybody. And unconsciously, I was getting rid of all of that stuff. And without knowing it, I was also letting go of all the turmoil that was going on in my life 
but letting it out of my system. And this is what this method does. This is why I think it's the number one artist block cure is because it was for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys take into account and to start doing this. I did this for three months straight, like without missing a single day. I do want to get back to it. I did start on Monday and it kind of fell off, but I want to get back to it because it is great at getting back to work. And you're going to have artist block. Things are going to happen. Uh, you're going to miss competitions. You're going to not win competitions. You're going to not get into a certain show and that might break your confidence for a little while, but you need to figure out where all of those things go or came from. And this is one of those methods. And if you guys have the time and have, you know, the finances, go get yourselves a copy of this book. This is really a great book. I've read it three times and this is like my fourth time that I'm doing it. So I really recommend it. And I hope you guys stay tuned for my next video. Bye.